In the more info section below, follow in 5D on MeWe, Informed Planet, Steemit, Minds, Gab, Twitter, and Facebook. Be sure to subscribe to in 5D on YouTube if you haven't already. Don't miss another article. Subscribe to in 5D to get the latest news in your email inbox. By Kim Hutchinson, guest writer, in 5D.com. In a previous article, I described a feeling of being in the void. At the time, I wasn't exactly sure what was happening. Since then, I've received fascinating insights from a variety of sources, including Source itself, and have experienced a transformational healing with golden light beings in the void. I now have a clearer idea of what the void is including its function and how it is assisting with our ascension. I am excited to share this information with you. What exactly is the void? The word void denotes emptiness. It is a null space, a state of nothingness, where nothing, or rather no thing, is manifest. The word void can also be used to cancel or invalidate something. From this level of understanding, being in the void sounds bleak, and yet, the experience has been wonderful. That's because the void isn't empty. Certainly, it is devoid of matter. But source transcends matter. Source is pure awareness. This endless expanse of divine consciousness is the source of all life. The womb of creation when you are in the void there is nothing to separate you from source, there is only source. You, the void and source all become one. This state of divine unity consciousness is where all life begins, and it is to whence we all return. We call this the great void. You and I, along with every universe, galaxy, star, and atom, came from the great void. It is the grand cosmic womb. This is where Source created geometric pattern that fractalized into the universe. All life is created from this sacred geometry. Everything from cell division to the separation of worlds follows this geometry of creation that was born in the void. In fact, the atoms in your body contain 99.999% void space. Zoning out since midsummer, I have been consciously aware of being in the void. Rather than having returned home to the great void, the space I have been visiting feels like a buffer zone. Specifically, this void separates the fourth and fifth dimensions. It serves as a divider, or containment field, between contrasting densities. This neutral zone is very important. As the two dimensions named are so dissimilar, the fourth is dense, polarized, and heavily populated with dark souls. The fifth, on the other hand, feels heavenly. It makes sense to keep the two separated so there is no bleed through. Traversing this void is essential for ascension. I first started zoning out after the summer solstice. The time spent in the void, coupled with the frequency of visits, slowly began to increase. I would be sitting in the sun in my backyard, and then just zone out. It was different from daydreaming. I actually felt like my soul left body and remerged with source. Something about the sun's light triggered these euphoric soul journeys. We enjoyed an incredibly sunny summer. And so I had many void experiences. As the cooler weather approached I spent less time outdoors, but the source reunions continued. In fact, I found myself slipping off into the void during meditation, healings in the bath, and falling asleep at night. Later in the fall, I found I could slip in and out of states of consciousness as easily as breathing. Now, I effortlessly flit back and forth countless times a day. These mini void visits happen in the blink of an eye. It's almost like a toggle switch or a pulse, I hear, I'm in the void, I'm back here, I'm in the void again, I'm not even aware what is happening most of the time. The incubator my experience with the void has been hugely beneficial. It has helped me stay relaxed throughout some intense times. It has also enabled me to be kinder to myself. I feel more peaceful, centered and loving. On the other side, I have experienced increased loss since being in the void, i.e. people dropping out of my life. In retrospect, I now see that anything that did not serve my highest good simply fell away. 
The void has prepared me for ascension. Perhaps the best result of being in the void is my enhanced connection with Source. I have had some truly amazing conversations with Source, whom I like to call Source God. One of the questions I asked Source God was, What is the nature of the void that I visit frequently? Source God answered me with a word, incubator. I asked Source to elaborate, and was told, The void is where creation is nurtured into being. Transformation in the Void Following this fascinating exchange with Source God, I experienced an incredible transformational healing in the Void. While in deep meditation, I sensed myself in the Void. Slowly, I began to manifest the appearance of a light body. I then moved to an observer position so that I could witness what I intuitively knew would happen. I was dressed like a butterfly with huge purple wings. These, I knew, were representative of the spiritual metamorphosis, ascension process, we are experiencing. Golden light beings came to me and offered their assistance. I gladly accepted, and they began to integrate my multidimensional being. I watched in fascination as timelines and dimensions came together in one stream of light. Some were out of phase. These appeared blurred. Others were moving at different speeds, some slower, other faster. Watching them integrate was like watching CGI effects in a sci-fi movie. Everything was made of golden white light. It was as stunning to behold as it was to experience. Heightened mandala effect. In the weeks following my healing, I have experienced numerous timeline anomalies, aka the mandala effect. Consequently, my memories of certain past events are now different from those of the majority. This makes sense given that my healing merged a multitude of timelines. Given the fact that every timeline has its own unique past, present and future, the process of timeline unification alters one's history. The closer we get to the shift, the more timelines will converge until they come together in one singularity, or event. Life is but a dream. From my experiences, I have learned that the void is where we go to commune with Source and to, ultimately, realize that we are Source. We move into the void when we are ready to ascend or descend. If you're working your way down through the multiverse, the void is a transitional, womb-like space where we undergo the final stage metamorphosis that will enable us to be birthed into another dimension. Our divine creative powers are unleashed when we are in this dark, dreamy state. Then, when we are ready, our light shines out of that void and creates form through the channel of love. Happy Ascension About the Author Kim Hutchinson of www.clayhathaling.ca is a multidimensional dream healer and ascension guide. Kim and healer husband Steve Clayton have been providing holistic healing to people and pets worldwide since 2008. Their motto is, Love Heals. Follow in 5e on MeWe, Informed Planet, Steam It, Minds. Gab, Twitter, Facebook subscribe to in 5d to get the latest news in your email inbox. Choose from daily subscriptions at the top right column of any page of In5D. Simply type in your email address and hit enter.